So Jim Tedabor here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Ironbrow's Expedition, going up against Archeon and the Everchosen. So, it's not the most interesting situation. It's a pretty standard Dwarf Army going up against a pretty standard uh, uh, Warriors of Chaos Army. It just really comes down to it being a difficult win. It's on large unit scale. We outnumber them by a little bit, but their forces are much higher quality than ours. Um... We just gotta tactically outmaneuver them, that's all there is to it. There's no special cheese I can do, I, like I can't goof them around, the map isn't anything special. It's just a pretty standard battle, which I don't really like doing these that much, but yeah, it's what I got today, so let's deal with it. So, I guess on that note, um, I have actually been receiving a lot fewer disaster battles lately than I have in the previous say, six months, so if you guys do have any disaster battles that you think are particularly interesting, even if you can do them yourself, uh, do feel free to send them in, because I am actually starting to run out um, of at least recent stuff, so this particular one, I actually went back 11 days to find it, because I've actually, I've actually been starting to clear out my inbox, because I've only been getting a few uh, disaster battles every day. But that being said, you know, I'm not going to do the garbage ones, there is some real, real trash that gets sent in, it's like... Just not gonna do it. You know, I have a rough idea about what you guys like, and because uh, that's the whole point of these disaster battles is for you guys to be entertained. And uh, I'm just not gonna do some of those. Like there are battles, for example, that are so difficult that would take me two hours to win it. I, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Um, I know you guys don't want to see that shit. You know, the, uh, the the sisters of Twilight one from the other day. That's like the ex that's like the maximum extent that I'm willing to cheese a, a situation. You know, anything more than that, nope. Um, and then there's you know ones that are just too easy. Sometimes you get some that are like on normal difficulty and like ah, it's a newer player. I'll give him, I'll throw him a bone. You know, fair enough. If I don't have much else going on, not like I'm gonna be elitist and be like you have to be a player. I got legendary. I don't I don't mind. But yeah. Ah, oh, shotgun, dipshit! <laughs> I hate the shotgun. All right, well, we're definitely gonna want a corner camp, so because that's like the big dwarf playbook. Uh, okay, another thing is the hell cannons. We've got to try to tank as many shots as possible because you don't have any gyrocopters. I can't get rid of them, so the best thing I can do is just try to waste their ammo. So this guy here has got 45% magic resistance. More like 60%. Oh, hang on. Yeah, like 70% resistance against their shots. Because their ward save is both physical and magical. Um, oh, we've got somebody's casting spells. Because at least that guy there has a potion of healing. And one of the main benefits of doing this is it's keeping their artillery back, and they don't have that many shots, so... The more we can waste them, yeah, they're barely doing any damage. Whereas, even though these units here do have magic resistance, because um, it does so much splash damage, that's the real problem there. Um, okay, we don't want to be staying in, like, tiny little lines like this. We want to tr try to use square formations. I know our army's really badly damaged. But we want the uh, the front line to not collapse immediately, because that would suck. I also don't want to get too tight, too cramped, or else our guys won't be able to shoot properly. So, let's see how we go. All right. Yep. You guys need to be aiming at that. Let's get guard mode down here. Okay, the hill cannons. Yeah, they're still still firing on the general. That's what we want. Interesting. Archeon's actually on foot. Okay, it's probably best we don't bother trying to kill Archeon. He can't get rid of him with the army losses because he is unbreakable. But at the same time, he's so unkillable that we'll try to get rid of the rest of his army first, and then we'll see how we go. This one over here doesn't seem to want to aim for us. And one of the things about uh, Chosen, this is why they suck so much, they're actually slower than standard Dwarf units. Uh, 
Good, that giant's just about gone. Okay, bounce power's definitely not in our favor. Giants are so good. But yeah, sometimes keeping your heroes out this like this far out really helps because uh, no, that other hell cannon's going for our troops. Um, all right, never mind. Let's just focus on this first. Yeah, the the other one's going for us pretty big time. Okay, come on, move back, move back. Well, it's good at the uh, hell cannon. Uh, sorry, the uh, oh my god, the uh, actually that one's almost within range of our cannons. Wrath and Ruin OP! 266 damage. Dwarfs is such a powerful race, man. Yeah, get rid of that hell cannon. I can't believe they moved in here. This is going really well. Uh, she's firing there for a moment because... That one's a goner. This is going really, really well. What are they doing? Oh, that hell cannon's gone. Nice. Uh, all right, maybe let's. Oh no, he's not on foot. Oh my god, I'm blind. It just he was moving really slowly. So if we have a look at Archeon, he has got yeah tons of resistances. So we've got to get rid of him at some point. But let's just try to get rid of his army first. I can't believe how slowly they're advancing. What's the battle difficulty here? Yeah, okay. Okay, you guys may fart. We'll... Yep, don't use the potion of healing just yet. Yeah, this is really slowly advancing on us. Alright, start taking out those Chaos Knights. They're going to be a problem for us. Okay, cease fire for a moment there. Because that unit's shattered. Don't waste your ammo. Bounce about is still not in our favor. I think we got to you know, be mindful of that. Alright, here we go. This guy's about to fucking die. Try to take that first hit. Yeah, that's it. Push me closer over here. Oof. Okay, resume firing. Just get some random dude to go fight Archeon for a little bit. Get him out of there. Okay, we've got extra powder. Ziggy. I gotta get over here. Okay, he's having a hard time. Yeah, another rune of garbage and ruin. Oh, that goes in the book. Oh, Bounce of Power's looking better. Get him out of there. You get in there. Oh, God, get him out of there. Can't you guys get in there? Alright, what are the organ guns shooting at? Yeah, shoot into that. You shoot right there, that's a good spot, I think. Alright, the cannons don't have any good targets at the moment, so we've got to keep them aiming at stuff that's far away. Oh yeah, Archeon just, just does not want to let this dwarf go. No, that's garbage. Uh, just somebody keep him pinned down. Yeah, he is going ham for it. Looks like the runesmith might die. I did try to get him out of there, but he just wouldn't go for it. Bounce of power is looking good. We might be able to inflict the army loss. I've still got to get rid of Archeon somehow. 
Oh, come on, come on, the guy. Okay, we've inflicted the army losses. That doesn't mean we've won, though. It definitely helps. Okay, try to get rid of that one over there. All, I want all guns firing in on Archeon. Really? Keep that guy back. Get this guy out of the way. Uh, yeah, don't use the artillery here. We'll shoot our own troops too much. Uh, can we debuff him? Let's have a look. Not really, these runes aren't... Oh, uh, I could use... Oh, uh, he already broke. Oh, hang on, no, he hasn't. Okay, alright, good. We got rid of the Hell Cannon there. Come on, get in over here. I don't care about friendly fire, just take Archeon down. No, I don't need more ammo on that. What do I do that for? Alright, just, just stop. Okay, I want to send everyone in there all at once. Because we've just got to keep them pinned down. Okay, pull this one out so that it's... To send this one in instead. Because otherwise the unit's going to get wiped out. I think we've already lost a few units. It's a miracle this guy here survived. And it looks like he's just about to go down. But yeah. The Chaos spawned... Uh, like the Chaos um, Invasion spawned um, Archeon. He comes in super powerful. Alright, we got rid of him. So that's the only dude left. Um... Um, we took a beating, but we got through it. And there we go. And your army should be in good enough shape to take out that later. I think one of the main things that helps us win that battle, yeah, we definitely lost like two of these, um, was the fact that they sent units ahead of time. Now, th that's why I send my lord up front, because usually if you leave something vulnerable, the AI like to take advantage of that. So you want to take advantage of them trying to take advantage of you. Like, if you're aware you're about to get assaulted and... No, I'm not going to use that reference. Um, if, if you're... Oh, one of them didn't get wiped out. Yeah, if you're aware you're about to, you know, get dumpstered, you know, making some things vulnerable... You know, you don't have to have strengths everywhere. You don't have to cover all your bases. Sometimes leaving a flank weak is okay. You'll be like, Ooh, look, weak flank. And then you turn around and shoot them or whatever. Um, vulnerabilities aren't that bad. But yeah, your campaign. Oh my god, it looks awful. No, I'm just kidding. You're doing just fine. So what's going on here? Alright, cool. Get through the end in there. That's not the end of Archeon. He could come back. But it's definitely the end of that arm army there. I don't see that one coming back. Shame about that one iron breaker, but I'm honestly surprised we didn't lose a lot more. Yeah, you'll easily be able to take him out. And Sartharail here basically just committed suicide. But what you should do, I think this is a bit of a trap. What he wants you to do is attack so that he falls back over here. So what you do instead in this sort of situation, show a little technique. Because yeah. You attack him, and he falls back to here, so this one comes in and reinforces, and then your armies are stuck here. So, what you do is, you come over to this side here, and attack him from this direction. But you didn't think that was gonna happen, did you, bitch? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Nah! Look at that, yeah, fuck. And you call yourself a Lord of Change. Please, go back to bird brain with my compliments. <laughs> yeah. 
You can't outsinch me. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Took out an army for him with absolute ease there because the, you know, the AI made a big goof. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.